everyone you will ever meet will live forever. To what C.S. Lewis called immortal horrors or everlasting splendors. Paul eloquently talks about how we are unrighteous in Romans. A deep study of Scripture opens up our judgment as sinners. Death, the wrath of God revealed from heaven. And yet, there are these freeing words in the opening chapter. In the gospel of Jesus Christ, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith. As it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. For because you have believed our testimony. That's it? Oh, that's abundance. Because you have believed upon him who is your substitute. Salvation belongs to him. How do the unrighteous receive the righteousness of God? By faith, Paul says. Alone. In Christ. Alone. And all this is by God's grace alone. God takes what is unworthy of the kingdom of God. He, by his own might and his compassion, makes them worthy of his kingdom. You, sinner, were not fit for his eternal kingdom. Rather, you were fit for wrath. Made you fit. By placing your judgment as wicked on Christ's cross and placing his righteousness on you. 